Welcome everyone. Today's video is a bit of a combination video. It's part tip video. It's also part workshop showcase. Today we're going to take a look at some small vessel designs to help improve your storage capacity. So our first storage theme small vessel design is pretty much considered the grandfather of them all. This is the pack mule. Currently, I would say this is the most popular storage themed small vessel design on the workshop. And with that popularity, of course, you have a little bit of ego. On the workshop design page, the first sentence in the description is that this is simply the best storage module ever made, period. Now, I will agree that at one time, the pack mule was the best storage vessel ever created. However, some of the other designs I'm going to look at today will give you some extra benefits either in more storage capacity or other production capabilities. Despite that, the Pack Mule is still a great design for a beginner player or even for a veteran player who just needs a little bit better storage capabilities. The Pack Mule comes equipped with nine cargo boxes giving you plenty of storage and with labels already placed on them, all you have to do is customize them. At the front, underneath the cargo boxes, the pack mule also has a mobile constructor in case you want to take it out in the field and use it for fabrication. The pack mule overall is a very compact design and has a docking pad on the base of it, allowing you to easily dock it into your capital vessel or onto a base. Our second design today is called the pack mule inspired, and it is clearly inspired by the original pack mule. Essentially, this design consists of two pack mules pressed side to side with some filler in the middle and three extra cargo boxes on the top. This design comes with two mobile constructors in the front, basically, like I said, being two pack mules pressed side to side. In the middle of the front, there are shutter doors that open up to allow you access to the seat, as well as an extra cargo box in the middle. Whereas the pack mule has its docking pads on the base, this design has the docking pads on the back, allowing you to dock it against a wall rather than against the floor. Depending on where you want to place this design, you may have to adjust the docking pad location. Taking a step away from the pack mule design, we are looking now at the cargo pallet. This design has a very unique approach where you sit basically on top of the cargo boxes, and once you are ready to put it in place, you remove your pallet seat, giving you basically just the boxes to use. Now, one interesting aspect about this design is that it comes with a large number of mobile constructors as opposed to just straight cargo boxes. In total, this ship has 53 cargo boxes and 11 mobile constructors. So if you feel that is too many constructors, you can go ahead and swap them out for cargo boxes. One reason I like this design so much is that you can easily place it in the floor of your capital vessel if you clear out enough room. All you need is basically a four wide, one deep, block area that you can then squeeze this into assuming you can get it to line up right. Once you have placed it inside a spot on your ship, you can then simply remove the pilot seat as I said, and now you have a massive amount of in-floor storage capacity. It is also important to note that the boxes are color coded and at the very top the boxes and mobile constructors have LCD screens already labeled, though I think personally the text is a little bit too small to easily read. Now, returning back to the design basis of the pack mule, our fourth design and my personal choice is the Cargo 32. The Cargo 32 ditches the idea of having the mobile constructors and all the extra fuss just to focus on cargo boxes. In the space of two pack mules, instead of receiving only 18 cargo boxes, you will get 32 with this. It features the same dimensions as two pack mules put together side by side, which makes it a much more efficient way to store your cargo if you are simply needing to store cargo and not needing the fabrication capabilities of mobile constructors. As I said, this is my personal favorite and the one I currently have been using in my little bit of playtime that I still do on Empyrean at the moment. And because not everybody is like me and just wants the cargo capacity, perhaps you want to be able to take it out and use it for construction capabilities. Our last design today is the PSI MCP. The MCP in the name stands for Mobile Container Platform, and it is a great design that you can use both just sitting on your ship or taking out mobile to, say, a resource deposit to mine and produce bars from the resources you obtain. The vessel comes with 14 cargo boxes total, 
along with a mobile constructor and three fridges, making it a really good work platform for you to be able to go out and deconstruct something or build a nice little base somewhere. The ship also has an O2 station that is partially covered by a shutter door, though you really don't need to open the shutter door to use it because you can usually reach the top piece here. The mobile container platform has another unique feature going for it. Besides the docking pads on the base of the ship, it has two docking pads on each side of the ship, giving you much more versatility on where you place it within your capital vessel or base. Now there are many other designs on the workshop for storage themed small vessels, and these may not be the ones you like. The designs I've shown you today are just the ones I personally feel have the best complete profile for the cargo capacity as well as functional capabilities such as fabrication and docking placement within your ships and bases. I will have a link in the description below for each of these designs if you'd like to check them out. And if you find one you do like, be sure to leave a thumbs up for the creator on the workshop page. If you feel there is a better storage vessel design on the workshop than what I have presented today, be sure to put a link in a comment below to it and share it with everybody so we can all find the best fit for our needs. Well, that is it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not done so already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these designs. And of course, as I said, if you have a design you feel is better, be sure to post it in a link below. Well, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.